So just for a second, as we as we think about our approach to chest pain, right? I think one of the questions is, you know, where does ultrasound fit in? And obviously, uh, for people who, as you become more facile, it fits in everywhere. You know, before you're using ultrasound, right? You're getting the EKG, you're getting the labs, you're getting a portable chest X-ray. You know, maybe you're giving aspirin or nitro, or uh, they have this present presenting a plate of chest pain, and the differential is broad, right? Yeah, I mean, absolutely. I mean, think about the horrible things that you could have, right? You could have a, a an aortic dissection, right? Uh, tamponade, pulmonary embolism. Well, then take it with a normal EKG. What, what do people do all the time? Oh, your EKG is normal. Let's say your enzymes came back normal. You go home with musculoskeletal chest pain, and no one even has any idea what the heart was doing in, in, in days of past. But now we can actually look and see what the heart's doing. Yeah, I think there would be a time that, uh, given the broad differential that you mentioned, Tom, that uh, you'd, of course, include cardiac ischemia on your differential. And you take one look at this EKG in the old days and cross that off your list. Yeah. And you would chase a number of other differential elements, which would probably come up negative given what's going on in this presentation. And this patient might have gone home. 